the time that this script came to me, I had never played a truly romantic hero. And I found something very compelling in Thomas Sharp that at the beginning of the film he presents himself as, as elegant and, uh, and sophisticated and refined. Um, and he really is the, he is the tall, dark stranger from romantic novels who has a mystery and a sexuality about him. And then what I loved is that Guillermo had then, he gives him so much depth and dimension and that behind the facade there is, there is so much pain and so much guilt and so much shame. Um, and then he puts the characters in a context where they have to make choices and you realize he's very vulnerable and, um, and then he falls in love, falls very genuinely in love. Um, at a time you don't expect him to. And out of that act of falling in love, he finds a new kind of courage, which I found very moving. They are, I mean, I really, Mia and Jessica are two of the most powerful actresses um, of their generation. They're the most, they're, 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 they are incredibly um, gifted um, and, and indifferent in, in lots of ways. Mia is, um, Mia is, is, has this has a naturalness that I think is that is almost unique. She is I, Guillermo and I used to joke that she was incapable of lying. That everything she does is true. Everything she does is honest. She's so. The thing about Mia Vashikovska is that she is so genuine, and she's such a genuine person and such a good person. Um, and actually, sometimes she plays you know she plays quite um, vulnerable characters, but she's really strong. She's a strong young woman, and I think um, her performance in this is testament to her incredible strength. And Jessica is someone who is formidable. I mean, she's she just there is nothing she can't do. Um, she has any, she has a range that is is dazzling that she's able to play on on to be able to play different types of characters and to, and to have compassion for their truth that she's able to play. She's able to be in in the help. Play that character, and then she's able to do Zero Dark Thirty or, or the Tree of Life, and then come and play Lucille in, in Crimson Peak. And I think Lucille was challenging for her because she's uh, she's so damaged, and and from Lucille's damage comes this incredible cruelty. And I think it was I think the cruelty for her was tough.